what is good you guys I am back with another tutorial and this is something that I know you guys have been wanting me to do and I'm finally doing it I'm going to show you guys how to make a custom trap 808 which I showed you how to do this on a previous video but I'm going to show you a faster way to do it on this video and I'm going to show you guys how to make a custom trap kick drum as well now I'm gonna try to do this as fast as possible it changes every time I try to make a kick drum the bass drum is pretty easy The kick drum you have to kind of dial in a few things to get it the way you want it to sound right but I'm gonna show you the basic way and then you guys can go in and figure out how you want to make it your own so let's get started so the first thing that I did was I printed out a little pattern right here where I typed in a pattern real quick and this is how it sounds with the ES2 on here so once I open up the ES2 it comes with the factory default and this is how it sounds okay first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here go down to tutorial settings we're gonna go to analog saw edit that is right here analog saw INIT click on that this is how it sounds now. Alright, so what we're going to do now to make the bass drum, well, before we do that, let me copy this because I'm going to use these same settings down here. So what I'm going to do first, what I'm going to do first by making a bass is I'm going to turn all of this off. All of this off all of this off and we're going to turn vector mode off as well so to make the base we're going to go down here to sign we're going to turn this all the way down turn the oscillator all the way down turn the analog all the way off and pretty much this is how it sounds so next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this attack right here on envelope three we're going to take this attack pull this up just a just a smidgen so we won't hear that click in there now if you don't have like really good laptop speakers with the bass on there um i would advise you to put some headphones in so you can hear the bass so this is how it sounds now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our release up now the only thing about this is when you turn it to release it's going to bleed into other notes so what we have to do is turn the mono on and then turn these voices down to one so that it only triggers one sound um, so it won't overlap on each other so this is how it sounds now once we turn up the release dope now another thing you can do is you can turn up the sign level and if you really want to add some other stuff too you can add distortion like this and then there you go there goes a custom 808 base very simple very simple very quick we're done now what we're going to do next is we are going to copy this 808 pattern down here to our uh, next instrument and then we're going to mute that so now we have the 808 down here excuse me not the 808 but we took the pattern of the 808 and we moved it to the new version of the ES2 uh, synthesizer. So we're going to click in here and we're going to move these down to where everything is all on the same note. Okay. All right, that's how it sounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in here and you see one analog saw in it. We're going to go again. We're going to turn everything off. And I could have easily copied and pasted this, but uh, I was lazy today. So I'm going to go down to sign instrument again, turn analog off. 
what we're going to do is on here is we're going to start at negative 24 right here turn this on to mono turn the voices down to one so this is how it sounds now so what we're going to do now is we're going to play with some of these dials to get it sounding like a really decent kick now I don't really have the time to really go in and dive all the way into it because I want to keep the video as short as possible. So I'm going to make something really simple and then you guys can go in and figure out how you want your kick to sound so you can perfect it. So what I'm going to do is, first thing I'm going to do is hit that little click. I'm going to pull this up just a bit. I'm going to turn the decay down. And I'm going to turn the sustain down. Sounds pretty cool. Now I'm going to turn the sign level up just a little bit. And turn that attack up a little bit more. I'm going to turn Okay, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit more. And as you can see, it's starting to sound like a kick already. So now just basically customizing it to how we want the sound. So what I like to do is I like to go right here and turn on this pitch one, two, three on envelope two. And then I like to just find a perfect pitch for it. And that seems pretty cool for right now. You can go higher or go lower. And then also, when you make the kick, you can actually go in here into your, um, your editor right here, and you can place the kick in whatever key you want to put it in. So it doesn't have to stay right there. So you can take the kick and go. Sounds pretty cool for right now. I'm going to leave mine right at middle C and so that's a pretty cool uh, kick. It's okay. It's not the best one ever, but you get the drift on how I'm doing this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of drive to it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into right here, click on this. I'm going to add some noise to it. And let me cut some of this frequency out. Sounds pretty cool. So it's not the best one, but you can sit here and mess with it until you get it exactly how you want it to sound. So now let's add in the bass and hear how everything sounds together. It might be a little loud, so you might want to turn your speakers down.
there you have it that's how you make a custom 808 and a custom kick for you, all your music trap dance whatever you want to do you can create it right here inside of the es2 sampler hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like it hit the like button if you want to tell me something about it shoot me a comment and i'll try to respond back as fast as possible and uh hit subscribe if you like the video if you like it hit subscribe and please turn on your notifications so that you will know when i have another tutorial coming for you all right and as i always say peace out